what's up everybody welcome back to third person i'm chris that's mike what's going on into the badlands series finale yes sir yes we're, sir we're here and we're not happy about <laughs> it but it was no. a really great episode so we're gonna be getting into it yeah. and uh but before we do mikey what do you got yes. what do you got to say about this show well, one thing. This is not a rant, but I I felt it was it, it was needed to say. One thing that um, Chris and I are really grateful for is the fact that we've had the cast and the crew on several times uh, for the show that we love so much. And in the beginning, when we first started talking with Sherman and Daniel, um, a lot of the um, things that they liked about Third Person was the fact that we didn't really hold back. If there were things that we didn't necessarily like, um, we kind of say it. And obviously, there's a lot of good. And we, um, we say a lot of that, too. Um, and I really like that statement from these guys because it tells us um, that they want to hear the things that they potentially can work on. Now... I enjoyed the episode. I loved the episode um, for a, for a series uh, for a season finale for a season a series um, uh, ending. I, I I disagree with what some of the cast said. And Chris, if you remember, Daniel said that um, you know it could have went either way. They they felt satisfied with the way it ended, but there was potential to for leaning on and for continuing. And Latoya said the same thing. Right. I totally disagree with that. I really do. Um, again, I love the episode for a season finale, not a series finale. With the things that they left, um, to it, it, it wasn't necessarily cliffhangers, but there was so much more to explore now. Um, Tilda gets stabbed. You know, you don't know if she eventually would, would die or not. I know they said they were going to rescue her. Sonny gets... Uh, stabbed uh potentially dies but we see this gift awaken in his eyes and he mm -hmm. sees the master there's just you know um just the overall change in minerva herself and how her characters evolve so much and she's not power hungry and 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 she wants this child and the whole episode she's debating on whether or not to keep the child is her choice well pro pre um, previously yeah yeah um so for me, it's like there's so much good and there's so much more unanswered questions now with the show ending and 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 um, the way the way it led off. So I wanted to really start with that because even though I enjoyed the episode, it kills me that the show is over and there's still so much more to explore. We see we see I forgot the 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 guy's name um, that's that's Eli. in the ending. Yeah, with any he, and he finds the gun. Mm -hmm. um, which was one of the big, big questions that you and I have always asked the cast when we had them on the sh on the show right. uh, is, will we ever see guns and this and that? And obviously no one could have spoken about it because they couldn't spoil anything. But we finally got something that me and you have talked about from the beginning of the series. There's just so much that they that was was left for us to go crazy about. And if this was a season finale, we would have been so amped for season four well here's the thing i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna not contradict you but we all know again and you guys you know you guys watch our interviews with everybody you know yeah i think what happened mikey was that they didn't know the show got canceled and so no, I, they set it up for a season four they listen they yeah. went for broke they were like this is gonna like it in you know and we can you know ask them this later on now that it's over and we're gonna have them yeah. back on the show but, yeah. you know, they're going to, you know, they probably were like, listen, we're going to go for broke and we're going to make it so it's like, you got to see what happens next. And they did that. Now, yeah. Daniel did say, he's like, listen, you know, we did try to make it so that it's going to be uh, an ending. But you know what? They were, it wasn't, listen, you got to realize. It, it, it really wasn't. But they that's, weren't. That's and, my whole point. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, they hadn't planned for that. So, yeah. so you got to go with what you have. You know, they're not going to reshoot. They're not going to go back. Oh, I mean, of course not. You know, they, I'm just you know, not. I'm just not satisfied. Neither, dude, what it dude, was. none of us. I guarantee yeah. you, none of us are and satisfied. Really, Look at the comments yeah. on Instagram, on YouTube. Oh, I see. I see. We're not satisfied that this is the that this is the end, and and it has mm -hmm. nothing to it 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 has nothing to do with any of the cast or crew. No, it's just in general. I wasn't too sure where you were going with that, and I didn't know yeah. if I wanted to start the video with that. But, you know, because I didn't want to start off being all negative about it. But, yeah. So your point is, long story short, is 
this show needs to keep going. That's the problem. That's the issue. Yes. What yes. they've done in this finale, this is a fantastic finale. This is, for me, one of the be best finales I've seen because it expands on a story that you've been following this whole time, and now you have this new evil in the world. And, I mean, for me, you know, since we're out here and we're on the fringes of it, let's talk about where the show could go. We'll get into the fights and nitty-gritty action in a minute. But So, for me, you have Moon. Moon says, fuck honor. Right. I'm going to I'm going to get you, Cressida. He's done a 180 of what he's he's done. He's gone back on his honor. Guess what? There could be a whole series or or not a whole series, but like a limited series, I would say, because I don't know how mm. interesting it would be. You know, now you got the Hulk, you know, the Hulk's running around, you know, like trying to help people and stuff. But that was my whole point. Like Moon can have his own series where he's following Cressida and maybe gaining back some of that honor. And he maybe he's going out of the Badlands, helping people, stuff like that. That was just the one thought that I had, you know, just yeah. a general he's out there looking for Cressida. That could be one like limited series, whether it be a, uh, an animated or it be a comic run or it be a, a, a series on Netflix, whatever, you know? Then you have, you know, Minerva and Tilda and Gaius. You know what I mean? Like what's going to be for the Badlands? You know what I mean? What's going to happen? But now you have the gun. So it's like, you know, then you have Sonny. Sonny's journey's not over. And, and I think that's what probably kills you the most, right? Is that Sonny dies, his gift ignites, and yeah. and he sees and he's caught between life and death and he says and he's being he's being told you're not done you have a lot more work to do and your body is being healed as we speak you're coming back to life bro and you got a lot of work to do yeah. you know and 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 the big threat the big threat which is the gun well guns and that's going <laughs> to obviously change everything and so yeah you know so you know it's not you know it's not a negative you know it's not so much a negative thing as it's a it's a yeah. plea it's a plea it's like this needs to go on like this is this is such a fantastic storyline. Look, you went three seasons with, you know, feudal, you know, medieval type of stuff happening, right? And, you know, it wasn't five seasons worth of martial arts and swords. You know what I mean? In a yeah. world, in a post-apocalyptic world where machinery and guns were had existed previously. So it's it was a really smart idea to run it three seasons, you know? And then now let's move forward to a different thing. And obviously, we now see where they were. You know, I've been going back listening to a lot of the interviews we did with everybody. And, you know, we got a lot of stuff from everybody, whether we realized yeah. it or not. I wanted to go back and I wanted to listen to see how much of that stuff panned out the way they explained it. Or, you know, just to go back and be like, how much did we hear before we knew it was going to happen? So, like the guns, you know, we, we pressed Sherman more than once about it. We pressed Daniel <laughs> about it. You know what I mean? And yeah. they obviously, like you said, they couldn't say anything. But at the same time... You know, they there was some hints to it. Plus, Sherman hinted at the possibility of what would happen in season four and beyond, which is a group of people from the desert coming in. And you know what I mean? So my you know, my guess is that those people who were already using guns and they show up, you know what I mean? Like so, so many good ideas and good stuff. And and I have total faith in Al and Miles and Latoya and Paco and everyone who's produced and written and created this show. Daniel, all the I had no at I absolute faith as to that they would be would have brought this story, expanded it to a point that was sensible and action packed and filled with drama and you know you know, but again, I, I'm I'm hoping that this finale showed people out there like this show needs to go on. Like Mikey, if anything, that's what this finale did. Look at what look at what this could be for yeah, somebody and else's that's, network and that's or that's what's so troubling to to me and and to you after watching this and all the fans like you said earlier if you if you you know check out twitter and all these kind of sites yeah i mean listen again i love the episode um i mean and it's not it's not um like i it's my it's my understanding that this show with all it, it just gave us more it just gave us more uh uh badlands um it, see, I don't know exactly how to explain it. Just basically, the fact is there's so much more now that was given to us that I want the show to continue, like you said. Hopefully it does get picked up by somebody else. My biggest thing, right, really from my opening um, statement was the fact that I know that Daniel and, again, they, a lot of them said that, that it was ended a certain way and, and it could be done both ways. I, do, I just... I just disagree. It wasn't enough. I know. Was I just, get you, man. I got yeah, you. It's, it's, it was fine. rough. And, and I, was rough. I guarantee you, everybody that's going to comment, that's watching, that's listening, mm. that is watching anyone else's, 
you know, our friend Al or anyone else's stuff, I yeah. guarantee that's what everybody is saying. It was not yeah. enough. It wasn't enough. It was fantastic, guys. Okay? Yeah. You guys did a fantastic job, and that's why it's not enough. You yep. know, it's it's yep. this is the most bittersweet that that uh, that we could and, you know we've been saying it forever but yeah you know let's let's let's, let's talk about let's talk yeah. about why let's talk about the why so sonny gets yeah. waldo's sword bro right in the awesome. beginning yeah awesome F absolutely fantastic oh by the way paco cabezas directed these last two episodes yeah paco man love you bro <laughs> good good shit man yeah. absolutely so happy that you know that that he got these last two not not to take anything from to away from toa or any other you know directors but you know we love paco we love what he does and you know paco's having a really good run with you know deadly class and diableros and all this stuff that he's been doing and everything else so you know i just loved seeing that paco had these last two it was fantastic so um you know what else minerva wants the baby man she wants you know she wants things she has a little talk with sunny and that was great and you know we yeah. got just that little bit we got we got just that little bit in the beginning of humanity and where people want things to go, you know. Yeah. And then we jump into it, man. But I will tell you this, man. Uh, Pilgrim. All right. Before we jump into some of the action, Pilgrim, man. I love his flourishing words, man. He says something <laughs> along the lines of, "We will bless these walls with their blood." You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. The dialogue that he gets is so great. You know. Yeah. Yeah. A Talk lot of. Man, what's that? Talk to me about, I was going to say, talk to me about Cressida, man. What are your thoughts? Cressida kind of has like a change of heart almost. Knew it. You knew it. You knew it. Yeah, she sees definitely. I mean, we've been seeing it as the viewers. We've been seeing how the the the, the gift has corrupted, you know, uh, Pilgrim over these, you know, over this last, uh, what, four or five uh, episodes. The whole end of the season, man. The whole yeah. back end. The whole um, yeah. And and we've heard several times from multiple characters on the show that you don't deserve um, the gift or or the gift isn't taken. It wasn't it's, yours it's, to have, right? Yeah, it's, exactly. Yeah. So um, Cressida really opens her eyes, and that's what why she wants to kind of escape, especially the fact that he threatens her because he wants her to he you know Pilgrim wants Cressida to have the gift, and so she that was she defies him. That was crazy. I, I, you know, he was like, all right, your turn. She's like, uh, no, yeah. I'm not doing that. I thought that. she was going to go red or something for a quick second. Like maybe show him that she already has some kind of. Yeah. Does he even know? You know, I mean, I mean, yeah. at this point it doesn't matter because he's RIP. So, yeah. Um, but I mean, that was pretty cool. And just going back to moon. So here's the interesting thing. They split up right away and moon dips as soon as they hit the sanctuary. He gets into the sanctuary, sees Cressida and dips. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, and he goes after her. Yeah. So I just thought that was interesting having him not be a part of the fight. And it was a three on one situation on both ends. And, um, yeah. you know, I just thought that was really cool. You know, again, he yells fuck honor and it's just, he's done a 180. He's lost all yeah. he, he now it, it, enough is enough for him. So I think that there was a huge, there's, there's a huge miss, you know, there's going to be a missed opportunity there if we don't get to see that story play out. Um, where do you want to go? You want to do MK? You want to do Pilgrim? Let's do MK. Let's let's run over there. Let's well, go there. So <laughs> this is what I'm calling them the family unit. You have yeah. you have Minerva, her daughter Tilda, and mm. Daddy Gaius. Mm. All right. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it's it's uh, obviously we got we got um, an awesome fight sequence in the first place because it is like you said it's a three on one kind of a thing. Um, MK, I'm I'm like I'm like done with him. You know, I'm really done with him. I think it was the previous episode when um, Eli comes to him, right, and he says, "You want to see who?" It was that this episode. They kind of blended because I watched both last. of them together. Yeah. yeah. So he's just he's all peyoted out or smoked out. He's and, opium. He's got. He's doing the opium. He's on the yeah. pipe again. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, um, you know, for for him to go out the way he did um, by Minerva, just, um, seeing, seeing Tilda potentially dying and her able to, it took something as, 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 as strong as that to, to open, you know, to open her mind, open the gift or however, however you would say it. It's sweet to see that because remember at one point Minerva and Tilda, you know, they had a falling out. Yeah. They had a falling out and she almost killed Tilda so it's a it's a complete 180 with with Minerva with the baby stuff and and um just her overall arc it just changed so much and for her to to you know kill um MK in such a way she didn't even have to put her hands on him force man. it was all the force. yeah was it was sick 
it was one of, and we never seen that. We you seen know, it a little bit with the, with uh, Pilgrim. He's Pilgrim and Ankara used a bit of a bit of the um, and, I, and, and and you know, Badlands people. We're sorry if if you know if we if we're using the word force, but it's it's the best well, analogy. It, for I mean, it, it but, kind of what we saw Pilgrim use it like that. I don't think we. Yeah, saw when Pil- he fought Kanan, she threw the the uh, the spike ball at him. Oh, that's the mace true. At him, but we and he stopped it. Ankara used it against Nyx. So yeah, we know, and um, uh, the um, master also used it. So like we've seen it plenty of times now, which well, again, you know, leads us in to... in that way. In that way that she that she uses, she just like just wipes out MK like nothing. And it oh, was, it was uh, fantastic. I mean, yeah. she yeah, when that when when that when her eyes, you know, and she did she did exactly what MK was had taught everyone else to do. Mm-hmm. Find mm-hmm. the one thing that reach down for that anger, hit that dark note. And then yeah. boom. So I thought yeah. that was really cool. So that was fun to yeah. see that. And, you know, to me for the future, she now has access to the gift again. Yeah. And I, and I have faith in her that she's not going to use it in a way that uh, she may have used it um, right. a couple seasons ago if she had it. Right. So I think that was pretty like a, a smart, a good way to do that. Um, yeah. Tilda, you know, she's not dead yet. You know, she's still alive as far as we know. We, you know, she, She's, they they took her off. They said, um, "Let's go to the healer, right?" Or yeah, something. we got to get to the healer yeah. and stuff like that, you know. But yeah, I mean, was she run through completely, or was it just did he stop? Because because you know, Sunny was run through, and yeah, it's it generally the same spot in my memory. I don't know. I'd have to watch it again, but you know what I mean. So I don't know. But the point is, is that she she was a little. She was still alive, and that's fine. I mean, look, yeah. how many of them have been stabbed and cut and run through, and they're fine? I mean, it's it's fantasy. Yeah. It's what happens, right? So, yeah. yeah. But I mean, yeah. I mean, that was that was a fantastic fight. It was it was it was so fun. It was it was a really good ending to that. And yeah, MK's done, you know. And I think that was the only path that MK. That was the only ending for his path. Yeah. And I think at the end he had that. Oh Jesus! I I just killed Tilda because they loved each other. You know they were like yeah. brother and sister. I oh, know you that. can totally you can totally see that. I mean, the one thing that I that one question that obviously will never really be answered unless uh, the show comes back so, in some way is the fact that we always were questioning if Sunny was the one that killed MK's mother. Uh, we had theories about who MK's mother was. Uh, it's most just moot re- now. You know, most yeah. recently, yeah. So it's it's one of those circumstances that we're not going to really get the answer to, which is um, you know upsetting in a way but uh yeah it was always one of those questions that we always were asking is you know and debating about you know what else too uh she mentions she mentions odessa you know she says listen go live your life i don't want you to do this i want you to have a nice life go live your life she's like well basically number one no what kind of life would that be number two she's like nah she's already moved on but my my thought was after you know seeing what happens until that was going to be like so maybe like the next season Odessa would have found out that that happened to her and she would have went running back and they would have been together. I think that's what possibly was on the was on the board for that you know maybe yeah. in, in maybe in track for that to happen I could absolutely yeah. see that happening. Um, yeah so so that happened you know um, jumping over to to the fina- the the you know finality the final you know fight arena we've got. Sonny, Baji, and Kanan taking on Pilgrim, wiping out all those people, taking on, you know, that was, again, that was another fantastic fight. Uh, you know what I thought it was funny, though? He says, all right, you guys flank him, right? And yeah. Sonny runs directly past him, <laughs> and they just, like, it reminds me of, like, Infinity War when Quill, when they see Thanos at, when they're at Nowhere, and he tells them, I mean, you haven't seen this, but people are watching, no. he tells them, okay, you guys, you guys go right, you guys go left, and they just go, and he's just like, damn it. You know, it's like Sonny just took off and then they're just like, you know, so I thought it was pretty funny. It's like that didn't work out as planned. But, you know, yeah. the fight was great. Um, Baji with the nunchucks, you know, Kanan doing her part. Um, just Kanan all- had a lot. Kanan had a lot going on. She actually, um, you know, getting trying to, pers- uh, you know, pursue the, the Black Lotus and get them to help out. I mean, listen, she she takes out um, she takes out Magnus, too. So Kanan had a lot in these uh, last Kanan few was episodes. Pivotal. Kanan was yeah. pivotal in getting them to that to that end to that end game, I should say. Here's the interesting yeah. thing: Kanan and Baji both have their powers removed, yet they still have access to the healing portion of it, or the the ability to turn off. The take, yeah, that is a very interesting. You know, and mm-hmm. I'm not going to go too much into it because at this point, it's moot again. 
But yeah. what I will say is very cool, very interesting watching them turn off as they're fighting. Fan- what, yeah. a, what, a, what a great way to fight. What a fantastic way. Like, absolutely. Get rid of yeah. that advantage. Wipe out that person. Be done. Move on. Get to the next guy. Great. I loved it. I loved it. It was an it was an amazing fight. It was so fun. It was enjoyable to see that type of, um, uh, you know, intricity in it. You know what I mean? Like, the, incorporated into the fighting. I thought it was fantastic, you know? And, uh, and then finally, you know, I don't know if you caught it or not, but we got a glimpse of those hooks. Just to yeah. remind us, just to remind yes. us they exist. Yes. I mean, you and I never forgot. I never forgot about no. those hooks. But no. just to remind people, hey, remember those things? Guess what? You know, a little foreshadow for the later in the episode. And But yeah, he ran them through. Um, and that was, I think it's really interesting. They gave us that in the poster for this whole back end of the season. You know, that's the image I put up on Instagram. And, you know, that was Sonny. That was Sonny. You know, Sonny got run through and... You know, and he did his final move, and it was it was it was a great. Did you enjoy how Pilgrim was finished off? Did you enjoy that? I was. I think. I mean, I would have liked to see Sonny cut him in half or something, but... decapitation <laughs> or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it, it's it's um, it's it's funny how Pilgrim is, is hung like that. Obviously, in the same way that that uh, uh, Cressida, Cressida right, was. Yeah. Um, so yes, I think that was it was poetic in that in that in that sense. But yeah, Sonny, you know, getting up and and making the final the final death blow was was obviously something that um, you know uh, I was like screaming at the television almost like hurry up and let's you know get it over with because it's almost like Pilgrim is hanging there if too long him, like right. he was gonna if you give him an extra second then he's gonna get loose somehow or whatever. Same, so yeah. 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 Um, but it was, it was, it was great to see, um, obviously in the end too, with, with Daniel's power unlocking and seeing that, that, that whole master scene, it was beautiful the way it was shot too, um, with the snow and, and whatnot. So yeah, no, it was, uh, I think, you know, Pilgrim's time ran, ran out, you know, it was, if, if Sonny didn't do it then eventually he was just going to kill himself by just how corrupt he's become right. with with using the power and the gift that he that he had what did you think when you saw did you immediately think that his power was turning on when you saw it happen in sonny's eyes flash or did you think that it was leaving him like what'd you think no i i don't think that they i think they were good at at telling the story that it did like turn on well i'm like what did you think though when you saw that what were your thoughts like i I assumed I was like that. I, I'm like Sonny I assumed that unlocked his power. I assumed that yeah, unlocked yeah, it. Me too. Me at the too. time, in the way that Minerva's power unlocked with anger. You yeah, know, and death. it's something different. It's something different. It's like that's that's, and again, it goes on the show ending and why it kills me so much because it it gave us something that we never, we haven't really experienced, especially with Sonny. Obviously, he's never had the gift before, but it, it, there's something so special about him. I would have. Love to see, uh, you know, the potential in Sonny's gift and how much more powerful um, he would be with it. And maybe the the things that he would be able to do. Would he be the new master? Would he, uh, you know, just the overall of what would would have been to come um, if if um, the show continued. Now, would Sonny need to really use the power? Would Minerva really need to use the power? Um since Pilgrim, the biggest threat is, is gone. No, Maybe. no, I think, I think, yes, <laughs> you know? I think coming now you, you know, and, and in general, guns are like an everyday thing. Okay. We deal with it every day in real life. Every show has a gun in it. It's unless it's a, you yeah. know, unless it's a period piece. Right. But the point yeah. is for this particular show and the ramifications it has in this, in this particular thing, you know, that's at first I'm like, okay, it's a gun. And, you know, you know, thinking on it, it's like, well, how how are guns going to change that? Like, you know, and first of all, it's only one gun. Yeah. So you got to find more. So we didn't you know, we don't know where that was going to go. But even yeah. just one gun, you know, that's a limited thing. There's only so many yeah. bullets. And the fact that it even fired, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, who knows how to clean guns? Who knows how to, you know, but that's why they that's why other 
there were there would be other I know other groups would be yeah it would in. I mean obviously I mean we spoke about that we made a video about it so if you guys haven't seen that video go check it out uh, guns in the you know guns in the Badlands video I mean probably made it about a year or so ago but it was very funny how natural Eli was with the gun in his hand right for someone that's never had guns or seen a gun he picked the thing up he pointed it straight ahead like well that's the thing you just point weapon. it you point it and shoot that's you know? that's the whole point. i mean he's you know it's the same thing as a crossbow and no, they've got they've got no, but it's stuff, true but you know? he he doesn't he's no one in the badlands have has seen a gun well that listen that listen, so for listen, him that's naturally not... be able to recognize it's a weapon number one well uh, maybe but don't forget that it's cocking not... the trigger but you know cocking the the gun back it's just uh um, well, we don't know his history. Number one, we don't know his history. Number two, the guns were only outlawed. It doesn't mean they don't know what they are or ever use them. It just says they in the beginning of the series, it just says they're outlawed. You know what I'm saying? So we don't know that I again we would have probably gotten not a history twenty years or something like that. And it's that guy's young, right? Time. So I see what you're saying. It's been right? a long time. Right. But so just just the overall just the, the just the way he naturally did everything. Yeah and pointed the gun and stuff. It was a definite threat. And obviously, if the show continued, this kid would have been something, uh, some kind of major character, or maybe the newest um, threat. Yeah, um, they kill him in the first episode through. of season four. You think? I don't know. I don't <laughs> no, know. I don't but know. Like, <laughs> yeah, but, I'm just but really, it's um, it's one of those things that we've always questioned, and we get it at the end, and, and that's why, again, it makes it so uh, tough for the show to end the way it did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. So... I mean, that's really it, everybody. You know, again, uh, you know, going back to bringing it back to the beginning of this video when Mike said that, you know, everybody enjoys the fact that we, you know, we didn't, we always told how we really felt, you know. Um, and then, you know, throughout the whole rest of the season, once we started getting people, cast and crew on the show and everything, yes, we fanboyed out. We were very positive. We, you know, we touted it. We, we shouted it from the mountains you know, and, and there was good reason for that because of everything that we've said previously. The show's amazing between the diversity, between the story, between the action and everything that went into making the show and all the people involved. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. So if you don't like it too bad, you know, we've been criticized that, oh, you know, you're, you're too much of a fanboy. You're too, you know, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. The show's amazing. So, you know, uh, shut up. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> but, but yes. So bringing it back. Yeah, this is this is the thing. It's 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 very heart wrenching and and it's it's disappointing because the show is fantastic, you know. And I think we've said enough positive things about the show that this video can be more of a, you know, what the hell are you doing, world? Like this show needs to come back. So this is yeah. not only is this the series finale video we're making. It's it's a you know it's a plea. It's a plea to to anyone who can see this. Or, you know, anyone who you know share this to with Netflix. Share this with. You know, anybody, any other networks, Hulu or Amazon or even, you know, S Spike or TBS or FX or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, the one thing is, is that AMC would have to let it go. And that's a big thing. Oh, um, well, obviously. Look, we don't know. Look, we, we don't work for them. We don't know anything no. about it. There's, there's tons of reasons why the show is no longer going to be on the air. But the point is, it's that if you're done with it, you're done with it. Be done with it then. I mean, who, then I mean listen, who it. knows? I mean, even right? even some of the, you know, Sherman, they're still very positive that in some way, Daniel, they're still very positive that well, the so, show is so going to come I. back in so some way. And that's the point. That's the point. Who so, knows if AMC eventually decides let's bring it back in a year, two years, you know, who knows? I mean, it's just one of those things. And again, I mean, like you said, like a plea, um, the hashtag Save the Badlands stuff. There's so many articles that have been written about this, and loyalty is one thing that um, that the fans have. Uh, you it's know, one, it's one thing the show is not lacking in. Let's put it exactly, that way. exactly. So, um, if any show is to to come back, if there's any show that will be um, reinstated or uh, we'll see more of again in the future, I'm 100% positive that in some way, shape, or form, we will see more of the Badlands eventually. Absolutely. Um, but yes, as of right now, this, the, the series is, is over. Um, thank everybody. We want to just thank everybody that's come on the show. We will continue having Badlands content in some way, yep. shape or form with some of the cast and crew coming back on, maybe yep. talking about this finale, 
Um, so we'll be asking you guys at home, obviously, and on the Facebook uh, groups to be writing in some more questions very shortly, I'm sure. Um, write in the comment section below. Let us know what you guys thought about the, the season finale. Let us know what you thought about this, the, just the series overall. Some of your favorite moments throughout the, the seasons of the, Into the Badlands. It's cut short. We're very upset about that, but we know how much everybody loves the show. Um, check us out at Third Person Pod and all the social medias on Twitter, on Instagram. Um, on the thirdpersonpod.com you can check us out in the, search, in the Google search engines we're all over the place let us know what you guys think and again um, thank everyone so much the cast and crew that have uh, come on this journey with us and have been so gracious with their time and you know finally congratulations just yeah. congratulations on creating a show that means yeah. so much to so many people <laughs> accomplishing really? what that and what you've been able to accomplish this was this finale did not disappoint you all told us you said the whole back end of the season is going to build on itself and it's going to be better and better and you're absolutely right and again if and i if we didn't get that across in this video just bravo fantastic job congratulations you should everyone should be super proud of what and i know you all are but i'm just going to say it again as a fan just be super proud of everything you've done because you've done nothing you've done something that you know not many people have done on 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 this type of scale on television so again congratulations everybody we love you guys thank you so much for letting us go on this journey with you and um thank you to everyone on our channel watching this stuff and appreciating badlands and that's gonna be it not over badlands is not this is not the end and no. we will come back with more stuff you will see more of the cast and crew not only for badlands but other things they're doing because we're gonna keep following our favorite stars our favorite actors and creators of this show so that's it. Thank you, everyone. And we will see you on the next video, Friends of the Badlands.